back. I'm Clover Frederick, your host for Shape of the City. For more than 100 years in the Midwest, the Salvation Army has been lending a hand to those who need it most. To learn more about some of their programs here in Lincoln, I'll talk with Stanford Bradley, the Community Center Director for Salvation Army's Lincoln and Lancaster County Headquarters. Hi, Stanford. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Um, so tell me, um, give me a little bit of background about the Salvation Army. Uh, well, the Salvation Army has been helping the uh, Lincoln community and has been a part of the Lincoln community uh, for over a hundred years and uh, we've been in our specific location since about 1964 and uh, you know we just believe in trying to do the most uh, positive good that we can do and uh, you know every day we go out and fight the good fight. Now I understand that you have a mobile kitchen can you tell me more about that? Uh, the mobile kitchen during the school year we go out to uh, the South Lincoln area about 14th or 15th and F Street where the gathering place is and we park there and uh, we serve on uh, Saturday and uh, Sunday about 180 people a day so uh, there's a lot of utilization that comes out of that uh, mobile kitchen uh, throughout the winter months. Okay. And now it also is going to be used this summer as well, correct? Yes. Uh, it's actually three years old this summer. And uh, what we do is we go out uh, every summer and we fill up our mobile kitchen with uh, tons of lunches from the health department. And we go out to three different locations here in Lincoln and we serve uh, usually about 45 to 50 kids at each site. We go to the Shamrock Mobile Homes, just about 27th and uh, just right over the viaduct between Holdridge and uh, Cornhusker Street. Mm -hmm. And then we go out to the uh, Mercy North Glen Apartments and uh, we feed kids there. Over the last three years since we started, we've served uh, just about 4,000 kids in those three summers. So we're very proud of that. Wow, that's great. And, uh, you know, we just make the kids happy by coming out and making sure that they have a well-balanced and a nutritious uh, lunch throughout the summer. Uh, we'll start uh, July 1st and we will end uh, August 7th, or actually June 1st, and we'll go through uh, August 7th. Okay, very good. What sort of feedback have you heard from the people that are taking advantage of this mobile kitchen? You know, it, it's not necessarily the feedback that we hear. It's mostly the faces that we see. And, uh, you know, when we, when we pull into uh, Shamrock Mobile Homes, you know, the kids that are over there, the smile that they have on their face and, uh, you know, the thank yous that we hear. And, you know, they're very appreciative of the of the service that we're that we're given. So uh, it's not necessarily what they say, but it's always uh, the way that they feel and the way that they look and they're happy when we when we come and when we leave. Okay. Now, what else does the Salvation Army have coming up this spring and summer? Uh, April 1st, we start uh, giving out the registrations for our summer day camp. Uh, we pride ourselves on having one of the uh, uh, cheapest uh, summer day camps here in town. Uh, we charge $25 a week per kid, and anywhere else you go, it's usually you know over $100 a week. Uh, and, and we pride ourselves on making sure that we keep the cost uh, reasonable for the kids in our community so that they have somewhere to go and uh, it's not, you know, taken away from, you know, their meals and, uh, you know, keeping their lights on and stuff like that. Uh, so we have our summer day camp starting up and then we also have the mobile kitchen uh, that's going to get ready to start up the same time as our summer day camp. And then we have our after school program. It's uh, winding down here, uh, but we have tennis lessons a couple times a week. Uh, we have our fit program where it's a healthy living program where kids learn how to uh, live a healthy lifestyle as well as uh, preparing healthy snacks and stuff like that. So uh, we got a tons of things going on at the Salvation Army. If you have kids or uh, adults that are looking to volunteer, just give us okay. a call and we'll, we'll make something work for you. Well, now, if somebody in the community is interested in volunteering, how do they learn more? You can go to the web uh, and look for SalvationArmyLincoln.org, and uh, you can find out some of our stuff there, or you can simply give us a call at 402-474-6263. Okay, great. Now, if you're somebody who could use the assistance of the Salvation Army, how can they learn more? Uh, once again, you can go to the web, uh, you can call, but it's always best just to stop down. You know, we're a, a great, uh, we have great staff members, a great facility, and uh, when you come in, you'll be greeted and uh, taken care of. So it, it's always best just to walk in and show your face, and, and, and we'll, we'll make sure we take care of you. Now, what other programs are available to some of the adults that might use the Salvation Army services? Uh, we have a women's ministry uh, club. We have a... Uh, 
uh, I can't think of the name right now, but it's a oh, it's a club for older gentlemen, and uh, it's actually it's called the Hunks, the Hunks Club. <laughs> That's great. And uh, so they they meet uh, about once a month, and they uh, do everything from repairing cars to building different things uh, that we might need in our community center. So, uh, and then we have our heat share program that we do where, you know, if you're running low on finances and you need a, a utility paid or something's getting ready to get cut off, we help with that stuff too. So uh, the Salvation Army has tons of different uh, programs and different services that people can use. All you got to do is just go to that website and uh, you know, look for the different things that we do. And if there's something that we can do to help you, give us a call or stop down. Well, that's wonderful. Thanks so much for joining me. We look forward to hearing more about what you have going on. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely.